as a child, my hair was always in arms with the wind, matted in the dew, sun rays of warm afternoons. My mother had the glorious task of taming this mane. Hours it seems she would spend methodically running the brush through my stubborn locks. Time passed through her hands. The dusty air intermingled with the hum that slid past her lips. How did it go? Tum, titum, titum, titum. Maybe something like that. My mother, my feet, the two had a relationship that combated any protest I held. Degas, devote, pure wet. The box dotted a step. I took for the entirety of my youth. Every ash in nighting, the last thing ache that rang through each muscle, my toes bearing the weight of my body, through every practice under restless spotlights. Sometimes I would imagine her in the crowd, the she of the stage light reflected in her ghost eyes. But I knew she would be washing my feet. Coupé, chassé, pade bourré. The 60 was punctuated by Elvis and the Beatles. Smooth croonings that waved through freshly mown lawns and past neat blankets. Lyrics seen through the tape player I got for my 18. The sweet is birthday, introducing me to sunny beaches and summer romances. I listen to the bright tunes sprawled under the blistering sun, a louting escape from the heat into the cooler jazz age. Every Chinese New Year, the majestic patrol benches welcoming the New Year's hopes of fortune and prosperity. The rooms would be clouded with wishes of love and luck delivered between the shrill laughter or mean misrepetitives. This is where I met Jack. Hi Jack, I'm Eileen. It's nice to meet you. Happy New Year. The following weeks were defined in surprises he left at my door. My favorite were the chrysanthemum he bought from the local temples, for I could always smell them before I saw them. The quiet sense floating through the mirage of the busy city. As I aged, I grew a fondness towards tracing red across my lips. I felt it draw attention to my words, forcing people in the world of my opinions. Jack spent a lot of time listening to me. I didn't have to remind him to cling on to my words. He held them carefully in his hands, seating each thought and idea as gingerly as his own. We were swimming through the sheets as the sun dipped past the city lights when I realized I love you. My fingers were usually found in between the pages of novels, resulting in one too many paper cuts. Jack placed a ring on one of these paper cut fingers as he reminded me about the rest of our story, which was unfolding second by second in the brightest real time. But what we forgot was stories had endings some earlier than others.